ride sharing has been a hot topic in this area for a while. Uber and Lyft is available in, in most major cities, but except uh, for, for New York City, it's not available anywhere in New York State. Now, Bill Yonke is the owner of Liberty Cab, and you'd think that he'd be against ride sharing, but he's not. Thanks for joining us, Bill. Uh, even though it's competition, you don't seem to have a problem with, with ride sharing. Why not? Well, the first thing is it's it's no different than having a, a company uh, start up here in Buffalo and get into the ground transportation business. That's the first thing. But uh, ride sharing could operate here in Buffalo and the rest of the state if they only apply, would apply themselves to the same rules and regulations that are already in place. That's where the sticking point is. Not a level playing field. Not a level playing field. So, so what what are what are some of those things that you're talking about? Well, some of the issues, obviously, is insurance. You know, we pay somewhere around uh, five to six thousand dollars per car. Uh, in their model, uh, it would be uh, your personal insurance. So, I have a problem with that. So, I have a problem with safety uh, uh, to the consumer. Who, if you have an accident, and think accidents are going to happen, mm -hmm. the taxi industry is not perfect. And so, you know, I want to make that perfectly clear. But, you know, we have to get better. The app is cool. I've had an app for the last six six years. You know, so if it's cool, then I must be cooler <laughs> because I had it I, because I had it early, I had it first. I like that. But the fact is, it's a great, great, great way to get a car. You see the cab coming to you. You see the vehicle coming to you. You really know for the first time that a car is really coming to get you. But let's talk about the nightlife here in Buffalo. A lot of people don't understand that using a ride sharing, you can't hail it off the street. I don't know about you, but a lot of a lot of my friends, when they, they have a little bit too much tipsy, uh, they usually the bartender calls for the car. Right. Well, mm -hmm. you are not going to be able to do that with ride sharing. So I think that the, the cab industry and ride sharing could, could actually work side by side. You know, it's, it, it's, it's, it, Buffalo is changing. It's a great thing happening here. Uh, the tourism is here. People are using it in other cities. But there are a lot of tragedies. That's all you got to do is pick up your, in Google, uh, things like, uh, matter how I'll give you a website, if you don't mind. It's uh, www.whosdrivingyou.org. And when you go to that site, you're going to see all the horror stories that have happened to people who've taken rideshare. Make sure if you, if you do take that service anywhere in the country, make sure that you know exactly how it works. And then there's a the third key, which is surge pricing. You know, uh, it, it's not very much out there. So if it's busy on a Friday night and we're regulated by the city how much we can charge, because I've seen the statement saying that the cabs are more expensive. But in reality, if it's a Friday night, you could pay four or five times the amount with rideshare saying it, it's it's busy. Do you want the car? So a $10 fare could turn into 50 So hmm. Uber or Lyft could be more expensive uh, depending on the night. That's correct. Wow. What, how about, go ahead. I was going to say, what is a standard fare in Buffalo now? Well... Uh, the fare from let's let's call downtown Buffalo to the airport is a right around thirty five dollars. So when they come into the market, uh, you know they're worth billions of dollars. I think the last chance uh, I look was like sixty five billion dollars. I don't know what country they want to buy, but uh, mm -hmm. wow, it, it's a lot of wow. money. But you can't keep losing money. Uh, last quarter, it was in uh, it was reported they lost over fourteen billion dollars in the first quarter. I don't know about you guys, but, you know, you can't afford to keep taking those losses. How about the issue of uh, fingerprinting for drivers? Uh, we have a, 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 a petition into the city. Uh, you got to remember, if we ask Uber to do that, then everyone should be doing it. Uh, bus drivers are fingerprinted and background checked. Airline pilots are, are, are checked. Train uh, operators are checked, but we don't have it for ground transportation. I really think that all ground transportation companies, taxi cabs, airport shuttles, uh, anything that delivers people, we should really do a fingerprint background check on all drivers. So basically, the drivers that I get rid of, for whatever reason, could end up in a ride-sharing vehicle. If we could get back to this, the, the one sticking point that you want everyone to follow the same rules and regulations, uh, we've said it before, we're the only city that has a, an NFL team that doesn't have it. So my question is, how are other cities, ha like how how is it able to happen in these other cities? Are they not following the same regulations that, that cab drivers are, the taxi companies are? That's two good questions. In New York City, they are actually following the rules and regulations of the Taxi and Livery Commission. So they're paying the, the same insurance as we are here. They have a base of operation that you can get get hold of a live person, and the drivers are fingerprinted. Mm. Okay, getting back to that statement, and I get very offensive sometimes when I hear that we're the only NFL team. 
Well, the fact is, uh, and this, this is uh, public information, so all you got to do is Google it. Uh, the Houston Texans, uh, where the Super Bowl is going to be played, mm. they are actually going to, uh, the conversation is they're going to let Uber uh, stay there until the Super Bowl, and then they're being kicked out of Houston. Hmm. Really? So that thing is going to change. Okay. So guess what? Buffalo won't be the only city that doesn't have an NFL <laughs> <All right. laughs> team without ride sharing. <laughs> ride sharing is a big issue here in Western New York, actually uh, all across the country. Uh, but in Buffalo, it's been a very big deal. Sure, and that's uh, that's what we're discussing this morning with uh, Bill Yonke from Liberty Cab. Bill, if you use ride sharing, you have to use a credit card. So where's the problem with that? Well, not everybody has a credit card. I think you, you're being discriminant with people who can't get a credit card. Uh, you're also giving discriminant to low-income families. And ride-sharing also does not service the disabled community. And that, that's where the big issues are. But there's a place for them here. They just got to work out the details. They are in Albany. Uh, you know, I've had a lot of meetings with senators just as well as they have. And everyone is up in arms pretty much. I mean, just last week, we, they talked about the surcharge. And that the money from that they were going to charge ride sharing uh, was going to go to New York City. If anything, that money should stay here in Western New York. Mm -hmm. Good point. <laughs> Absolutely. You say the uh, the governor's going to have some announcement coming up the next couple of days or weeks. Well, he's having his state to state uh, meeting, I guess, on Monday. So uh, I'm sure you're going to see that as a line item in the budget. Interesting. Yeah, he's going to be uh, doing a tour of cities in New York. Mm -hmm. Buffalo, I think, is the first stop on Monday. First one. How about the safety factor involving uh, Uber and, and Lyft? Well, I think that, you know, uh, that no matter what car company you use or what car service you use, you really got to be sure that the driver that's driving you uh, is background checked, vetted. Uh, I can't imagine a, a mom or dad wanting to put their kids in the back seat, not knowing who or what that driver is. At least in the city of Buffalo, in the cab industry, you know, the drivers are background checked by the Buffalo Police Department. The cars are inspected uh, once a year at least, you know, and none of that will apply to car, uh, to ride sharing companies. Don't you think that Dale would make the perfect taxi driver? <laughs> I'd right? Love it. If you got into a taxi and Dale's there, you just won the lottery. I mean, it's like, okay. Yeah. So if this broadcasting thing doesn't work out for me, Bill, I'm, I'm coming over and, and applying. Can, he can only do long fares, though, because right. he needs enough time. Right. <laughs> he needs enough time to find out who he's driving and their entire backstory. You'll be surprised how many people have driven cabs in their life. I oh, think, I'm sure. I think you'd be surprised. Yeah, I think you'd be great at There's it. There's attorneys here right here in Buffalo that actually drove for me. <laughs> no kidding. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Hey, Bill Yonke from Liberty Cab, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you, guys, and have a great day.